Yo, 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 what's up Banta fam? Welcome to yet another masterclass. In this series, I teach you my, my tools, I teach you my strategies and my secrets on how I manage to do it in a short period of time. First thing you need to do, you need to hit that like, then you need to hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you are opening any new accounts, make sure to use the links below in the description as that will qualify you for any specials, any giveaways, and showing love and support for the channel. In this show, I'm gonna be teaching you the relative strength index, the RSI. This is a very important indicator as it is one of very few leading indicators in the market and can help you predict a movement before it has actually happened. Enough of that said, this show is sponsored by Bybit. Let's get into it. So Vanta fam, what is a relative strength index? Guys, this is one of my favorite uh, tools that I use, the indicator that I actually use. And I like to use it with a whole bunch of different strategies and I will be showing you later on. But guys, what is this tool? This is a simple indicator that helps you show when the market is overbought or oversold at specific points. It is uh, an indicator that oscillates between ranges, giving you ranges of when markets, when there's, a, when there's been a lot of buying in the market, and when there's been a lot of selling in the markets. And you can then use this with your strategies to give you little indications on when a possible breakout is happening, when something has been going down for a long time. This indicator will give you that hint that we're getting to an area where we usually bounce. So we're getting to a zone where we usually have a reaction from either the bulls or the bears. And this will give you a nice key indication on when we should be getting in or when we should be getting out. So if we jump onto my charts, I'm gonna show you the basic view of how this actually works. First thing you do have to do is you need to load this indicator. So if you go to the FX where it says indicators and strategies, you want to jump in over there and you want to type in RSI. You will see relative strength index, put a last little star there so it's easy to find the next time under your favorites. Now, once we're in there, you will then see this funny bar clicker. And where, as you can see, I have changed the colors. Guys, there are settings on here. You can go in, change any sort of colors, but you'll see that it'll be standardly set at 70 as the upper band, 50 as the middle band, and 30 as the bottom band. Now, what this basically means is, let me zoom in here and show you how this tool actually works. So all that it is, as I said, it is an oscillating indicate where basically the price oscillates from an oversold position and how we determine what is oversold is when this indicator gets under the region of 30. Now once we get below 30 it's usually indicating that we are getting to an exhausted stage we've had a lot of sell-off in the market the bulls are going to look to try reclaim at some sort of point. As you can see, the price will then move its way to the upward side and we'll get to another line which is around the 70%. This is known as the overbought territory, showing you now that a lot of buyers have been buying and they're slowly getting to an area where they get exhausted and we're then going to have the bears attempt now to start reclaiming. Remember now guys, this is a market that's always going to be a fight between the bulls and the bears. It's always going to be moving, you know, the main thing is which one is obviously moving a lot bigger are we getting bigger green legs than, than red legs or we're we getting bigger red legs than green legs you'll soon start to identify who's winning this battle now if you have a look here you can see with your price action that a lot of the times when this indicator went down to these sort of zones you could see price followed its way as well and you could see that when that was making its way down price was continuing down and then all of a sudden it shows you now we are getting to a little bit of exhaustion stage the bulls are, the, the bulls are going to try reply we've had the bears had the sell off bulls are always going to try reclaim then you can see the bulls then attempt and as soon as they start to attempt you can see how price then starts to make its way to the upward side and then you can see it's the same sort of repeat now look at the differences now on what this basically shows now i like to use this as a simplicity rule of when it's getting to the regions of 70 percent and above and you know i would have obviously looked to have bought at the bottom remember the main focus is we want to be buying under the 20 to 30 percent this is how i personally use it not to say that it's going to give me the exact entry but what the key thing that this gives me it gives me an indication that we are getting to an exhausted zone now what i do is i take a trend line 
I then look at my volume. I then take my uh, horizontal support and resistance as well. And now I add all of that to that as well. And what that basically does for me is it gives me four different views to snag that good entry to know I'm buying a confirmation break of trend. So this, this tool is not to say it's the most accurate tool that it's gonna get you the bottoms every time. That's not the point. The point is it's giving you a region of where we are. Are we tired? Have we had a lot of selling pressure? Are we going to have some sort of relief? Then you're going to take your next indicators, add them in there, and at least that's moving you to the right sort of area. So as you can see, I'm looking at the daily chart over here, and you could see many times we've seen up, down, up, down in the actual market. And you can see at this zone very clear, it was warning you were getting over the 70% zone. You would have then drawn a trend line in play, which I'll actually put there just as an example. Let's jump back in, there we go. So I would have put a trend line, why? Because my RSI is showing me we're starting to get to an overbought sort of thing. It's not giving me the exact top, but is giving me that little hint. And then when you see I put a trend line in play, look what happens after guys. So the RSI gave me the indication when price was still here. So price was still going up, but it was giving me an indication we are losing steam. Remember, this is taking volume and it's taking price action. And it's giving you that nice little hint. And all of a sudden, look what followed. We then lost steam, we then broke trend, and look how we moved our way down. Then we moved our way down, the bears had their big fights, and, and when we went, look how the, the RSI made its way down under the 30% mark. Now what does it do? Now we know, okay, it's getting under the 30%. Is it the bottom? We don't know just yet, but we're getting near to a zone on where we could possibly look at a bounce. Now the same thing will go. I will start looking at adding in a new trend something in that sort of play and you know you would have had sharper trends that would have given you hints as well that we we're moving in a very sharp direction you know we started to look to break at the specific levels but you see how i was willing to now at least know that i'm in that zone or in that area now i can go apply my next tools and now i could actually use it so this is a nice tool for you to guide and teach you on not to chase the pumps i would have told you we are losing steam. We've been moving up for a long time. So that gives you that little indication, relax, wait for that. Now, this is a nice rule for me to set because it teaches me to buy back the pullbacks. My rules are look and be ready to buy when these things are hitting below 30. When it's getting to that zone, apply all of your, your, your tools that you need. Look in that level because that's where you want to be looking to get the buy. So now we have a basic view of understanding it's overbought or it's oversold, right? And then we know we need to jump to our tools, our indicators that can help us guide with that because now we know we're getting to that sort of area. Now, another extra thing that the RSI does add is, remember, it is a leading indicator and sometimes it can give you little hints on the market as well and can also show you when manipulation is entering the actual market. Now, what I mean by that is when we have a movement in the actual chart, price action moving to a specific direction. We're gonna have the same following from the RSI. The only thing is what we want to see is we want to see whatever's happening on the price action. We want to see the same thing happening on the RSI. And when it's not happening, it's then giving you a key indication that something is not matching up. You need to be careful. It's basically giving you a caution sign uh, to the up or the downside. Now, what I mean by that is we could see here very clear that the RSI was making its way to the top. I then entered over the over 70% range, okay? So not me telling you to exactly sell right now, but it's telling you we are getting a big influx of buyers. You need to just be aware and, and, and start looking at all the other indicators as well. And when we started getting to that zone, we had a big price rise. Then we had a top off, so we then started to come down. And as we started to come down, the RSI also came down. It never came down all the way to the bottom. As you can see, it was a shorter sort of retracement. Then we continued on our way up again. Again. Now, we'll have a look at this, guys. You see price action, how we then shot up, and as we shot up to the upper side, you can see how we broke higher highs, and we made a higher point. You can see that very clearly on the candles. But then we jump onto our RSI, and you see the complete opposite. You see there's way, a much lower low in that play. Now, what can that mean? Guys, that can mean that we were getting a strong momentum move, but we're not getting the volume to back it which means they are making it seem like the price is moving and it's never gonna stop, 
and this thing's about to explode, where the RSI is telling you, well, something is not right. We're not getting the correct backing behind it. You need to be cautious. And because you got that sort of sign, you would then see very clearly that we then started to lose a lot of steam. And what came up after that is we then had a broken trend, as you can see over there. And you see how that little hint was to, where everyone thought the market was gonna to continue to explode, the little hint of the RSI giving you that would have told you, be cautious, be aware, now you've just had a trend line trigger, now you're starting to say, okay, whoa, I need to start looking at a bit of my funds. Now the same thing, now that is called bearish divergence, okay? Now then you get the, the opposite, which is bullish divergence. So bearish divergence, just to fall back, does occur when we are trending up in the market and there could be a big dump at some sort of point. So bearish divergence is to warn you, you're a bull now, you've bought in the market, you're holding, it's there to warn you if you're ever in danger or you need to start really having a look. Then you get the bullish divergence, is when the market is trending downwards, you want to be nailing a good buy and you want to see when the sellers are starting to get exhausted and there's not volume back in the sellers. So when you're buying at the specific zone, you know we know how quickly the market can recover and we can have a quick bounce. Now, bullish divergence works in the opposite direction. Now, what that means is if a coin is, if the price is trending down at some sort of point and we're starting to make our way down, do you see how we had the strong leg up? We then started to retrace down and you see how we made a higher low in play. Now, if we take that and we look at the RSI, the RSI is telling me something different. It's telling me the RSI, we're getting a lower low in play. And what that indicates is bullish divergence. And what we can usually see from those things is a similar reaction to what we got over here. So what is it indicating me? The market is not over uh, sold just yet, but we are getting a bit of unusual effect where the volume is not backing how quickly this RSI is starting to make down. The, the price action is not following exactly correctly. So what it does for me now is now my alerts go off and now I go and I adjust to my next indicators again. So okay, something's happening here, I need to be aware, I chart it up, I wait to see now, it's not chasing me to get in, why? Because we're not in an overbought situation, but it is giving me indication, ooh, they might be tricking you here, there might be a big explosion to the upward side, put a trend line in place, put something in place, so you can catch it early if something does jump. Now I have a trend in place, I'll allow the magic of what to do, and my alerts will go off when I actually need to enter back in, or when I have a structured trade to be getting back in. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Bybit, guys. I want to show you something fantastic that I personally love with them. If you look at your dashboard of Bybit and you go to the more section over here, you can see they have this launch pad section. Now, what's amazing about this, guys, if you own Bit tokens, they allow you to be a part of Launchpad, where you're able to launch into early access coins, early IDOs, uh, early companies that are coming to the actual market. You have the opportunity to use your Bit tokens to actually enter uh, these, and they will give you the specific amounts. And as you can see with this one over here, we have nine days, 10 hours, and 52 minutes remaining, and you'll see how different ones come up as we go. So that's just a nice little hint for you guys to get some nice little early access and possibly really good buys into the market. So banter fam, let's have a quick recap from the show. Relative strength index. Now remember what it is and how it's different to the stochastic. Remember, overbought, oversold, very similar sort of concept, but RSI is below 30 is your oversold territory and above 70 is your overbought territory. And remember, they just have a little bit more difference between them. But at the end of the day, why do we use them? Because they stop you from chasing the pumps. They stop you from FOMOing in. They teach you patience and they give you some sort of structure behind your trading and remember how do we use it refer back to the video remember to fall back to all of these master classes as they're quick they're simple they're easy and we give you all the juicy stuff in a very short period of time i will see you all on the next show